Hello YouTube and welcome to April for the site to race number 34 of the NRSL Hooters series for the 2008 season. And alongside me once again, as they have been for all weekend, are Stephen Pilot III and Austin LaPlante. Hello guys. Outlook good. On the front row today, the driver with the least concern in the world, Zachary Fitzwater, who knows that he will be one of the four contenders at Homestead after his win a few weeks ago at uh oh shit what was it Watkins Glen yeah. and on the front row uh, on the pole today alongside him will be Stephen Paul III in the 92 Marilyn Escandari and Haley Lordigan make up row number 2 with Sky Commons Paul Swanson row 3 Kyle Matthews alongside one of our other chasers Hunter Braxton in row 4 with Ace Rogers another chaser alongside Jerry Shelley in row 5 here's the rest of Stone Grid as I hand over to Stephen and Austin for their thoughts and predictions. Awesome. Well, if you saw the truck race, you unfortunately saw that a block resulted in a big wreck, big wreck, and multiple champion uh, contenders involved. I do hope that's not the case for this for this series. Even though we're probably going to expect uh, once again checkups if you're on the very high side. And during practice, we saw that they go that the that <laughs> the Hooters cars go a little bit slower than trucks. Here's command right now. Drivers, start your engines. Uh, Steven? Uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting race for sure. We saw we're going to have our first pit stops this week with 30 laps, and usually pit, pit stops at eight bowl are going to be death unless we have the big wreck first. We saw Juan Fernandez, Dylan Throx has won his first career race in the series at this track, so anything is possible for sure. Last year, Time Pollard won in the 21, so look for somebody to possibly. We'll see that single file line like we saw the trucks pulling away, but the pole sitter almost Ryan Houston almost got it back, so we'll see if Paul did. His last, this is his fifth career pole, and he won from the pole at Richmond into that season four. No, season three, so let's see if he can do it in season five. Sorry, excuse me. Um, <laughs> so we saw quite a few chasers get involved in incidents yesterday. Uh, so obviously se the seven chasers who uh, have a shot still but are not locked into Homestead are going to be kind of anxious of that one. But Fitzwater, with free and easy thoughts, as he is the number one seed right now, uh, Hunter Braxton is the top driver in points of those without a win. Matt Dixon is 10 points back of him. Mohamed Zainadula holds the uh, chase bubble, if you will, at uh, with a five-point gap from him to Ace Rogers. Jesse James is 38 points back. And the Fastenal 300 from 8 Bowl is green. This Fastenal car is going to wreck, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Shelton is 50 points back in 7th. Rob Evans is 58 points back in 8th. As the 92 didn't quite get as clear of the 81 as we saw, we've seen other drivers do this weekend. Fitzwater, the all-time winningest driver in the series with seven wins. Uh, and Fitzwater's the still there as they come off turn two. Unlike Kerwin, when Paul was able to hold on the high side, side by side for 30 laps. It ain't going to happen today. And they're already going to be three wide for second as Fitzwater pulls the gap out in front. Oh, yeah. That's not what the field wants to see. Well, I mean, you would think, though, that if they can pull a gap, that's going to be a bad thing, though. Oh, Paul, it's going to wreck the field. Oh, God, the old two almost killed somebody. Three and almost four wide action back here. They are they four are wide for wide. a wide. moment. Mm -hmm. They get it back to three. No, they are four wide again. That's Never mind. Work, boys. That's not going to work, boys, females, whoever's in the pack. Oh, well, that's Mike Trout that's on the far outside line. They get it back to three. Gonna be striking out as we're oh, still somehow green. This is close right here. Still three and well, it's still just three wide right now. Oh, 16. What are you doing? Trevor, Trevor Collins, Collins tried to close a gap, and in fact, actually, the 20 then closes the gap on the seven. Oh, I don't know how we're green. Here comes Trevor Tremaine here as everybody just man, this is getting tight over here. There's the 92 on what is still the outside line. Eskandari now up into second, trying to close the gap on the 81. The top five are starting to break away from the melee of cars behind them. 
Uh, melee is an understatement. Logan won at Talladega, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, did she? Yes. No, she won at she won at Portland actually. Oh. Talladega was Oreo Pollard, so that's really so bad. I forgot you... that. Um, we have a streak of so first time. I, we have a streak of first time winners. I believe nine of the last ten races have been first time winners. So, so the only, only one up there right now who could do that is Gus Godari. You mean so only Fitzwater out of the last ten races was? Wait, that can't be right. Fitzwater won like three races in this time frame. Okay, maybe eight out of ten because I know Mary Shelley won. But I know we've had a lot of first time winners here. As Kyle Matthews tries to make the move for second, the 81 again opening a gap. This is something we have not seen so far this weekend. A uh, season two, season two winner at this track, the 33 KHI. Fit, uh, Kyle and Dylan are the only two drivers that won every season they've competed in. One of the two will probably not get it this year. Let's see if Kyle could do it today. And here comes the 49. As Logan now makes the move on Kyle for second. Kyle tried to throw the block, couldn't quite get there. As Logan now up to second, Fitzwater loving what he sees in his rearview mirror. Here comes the 10. Going to be a side by side for third off turn number four. Jerry Shelley makes a sweeping motion over to the right side of the track and back to the inside line. In that 32 car, he fills the gap on the 89 and the 03. As Fitzwater has led every lap so far, before Sacco starting to trail the pack a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Things did calm down back here, though. It's all back down to just two wide racing. 59, a little bit slow from being up on the third line. And Johnny Gardner fills that gap in the 88 car. That was the battle for just outside the top 20, it looks like. Yeah, or just outside the top 25. Car. Everybody kind of separating a little bit. Like your fast enough. Yep, there's the fast now car. Enzo Nereza last scored in 23rd spot there as they crossed the line. As also, there's our pole sitter, Stephen Paul third now just inside the top 20, it looks like. Yeah, trying to come here. This here comes the 40 car, trying to make a move on his teammate. Uh, trying to complete the pass on his teammate and not going to be able to do so as the 92 going to catch the 76. That's one of our... Well, actually, I can't say it for the series because I don't know for sure. Oh, my God. Ace Rogers. Oh, Ace Rogers. Yep. Those. Nearly got into the 10. That was nearly trouble. And oh, now oh, Matt oh, Hamill's going for the race lead in the 61 car. Oh, don't go H. Of course that car would pass Fitzwater. <laughs> no, Fitzy. That's not a lap car. That is a real look. That is a real car. As Kyle Matthews going to go to second, maybe, off turn number two? Not going to yeah. be clear, actually. Kyle's last one was Pocono last year when he made his beat Zeta Duel in a fuel mileage race, trying to get one this season. And oh, he can't Matt miss that Hamill's feeling bold up front. Oh, yeah. Through the block on Fitzy going into turn three. Well, the best block he can throw is coming back on the eight from the two tires, so. Oh. <laughs> Let's not go there. Fitzwater liked it out front, apparently, because he's wanting to take the lead back. He's going to have Carter Joey helping him into turn number one. Yeah, Carter's already won two races. The Lynn and Iowa trying to get a third. Missed the chase. Fitzwater's but... looking for, what, a fifth win this season? Yeah, he's won two in season three, two, one last year, and then, yeah, no, four, so five. So it is the fifth win. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he's looking for his fifth win on the year. Yep. As, yeah, there comes everybody all fanning. Oh, Joey had to try and throw the block on the 61. Jerry Shelley trying to look for a way around the 89. Has the hole filled on him by Sky Commons, his teammate. You know, we're a little closer to Canada than in Mexico and Massachusetts, so. <laughs> oh, well, team decided to go. throw that scheme on it. Matt Hamill trying to make the move for second once again. Going to have Andrew Miller, a fellow rookie, behind him in that 47 car. And Kyle Matthews, again, going to try to gain some ground through turns one and two. This time, he is going to have that 27 cleared, though. Yeah, Miller's best finish was third early on in the season, and here he comes getting bold. Andrew Miller makes the move for, tried to make the move, gets blocked. Kyle Matthews trying to throw the block on Carter. Joey will do so. 
So now the 48 officially up into fourth as the top three get a little bit of a gap. Yep, here they come. See if 61's gonna take a bold move. Nope, 47 is. It's Andrew Miller that makes the move on Matt Hamill for second. Here comes that 48 and the 27. 61 with no help up top. Who would want to help that car? Well, well, I'm sure you'll find someone if they know that it can help them get to the front. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's see, here we go. 49. As the 49's going to clear, so the 61 back to fifth. Kyle Matthews going for second now. It's going to pick up help from the 49 car of Haley Lorgan. Yes. And Miller yeah, falls Sky back Cop in line into third, actually. Sky Commons at seventh. There's a lot of truck SS wins and stuff. Uh, well, he was seventh. Uh, he's definitely not seventh anymore. Here comes Mohamed Zain Abdullah, one of our chasers. Uh, is going to be just inside the top ten that time by. Gets passed for the ninth position. Oh, make a choice there. Don't be indecisive. Yeah, here we go. As Kyle Matthews trying to close in. It's going to be Miller, though, that makes the move for second. So Kyle Matthews is going to fall back now. He's not going to have a gap either until he gets behind the 61. And that's the yep. gap to fifth. Carter Joey with no one really Huge helping gap. him. Quentin Moore is not really all that close. Yeah, and this gap. is the battle for eighth. Yeah, so I wonder, you know, pit stops will be interesting because there's usually always a wreck entering pit road in the history of this track. Uh, shouldn't it be pit stops, though, I think. Ooh, it's so only 30 be a long laps. way. To... Yeah, me either got some light As fuel. As Kyle here. gets back by the 49, that is for the fourth position. Uh, Fitzwar, we should just hand the title to him at this rate. As Andrew Miller not able to make a move. 48 nearly in the fence as they went to turn three. Whoa. Oh my that's lord, high. he was rim ride. Yeah, that's high. He must have been smoking or something. As the 27, Carter Joey tries to go to the outside of the 49 to make the move. Yeah, Fitzwater is last. Gap, the last time Fitzwater won, he won three out of five races. Can this be the same stretch for Fitzwater? Uh, well, if it's going to be, he's going to kind of hope that he doesn't win next week, wouldn't he? Yeah, next week we're going to Colorado Nationals. The last year they had a lot of DQs. Uh, yeah, so DQs there is a little bit of an issue sometimes. We'll have to wait and see if that comes up to play. Top three, uh, though, so breaking away. They are a full second clear of Kyle Matthews, but it is a five-car line if they can get to working together with Seth Cole. And then... Mohamed Zain Abdullah gapped the rest of the field. Sheila Shear is now in the 10th position. Jerry Shelley, John Irvin, Brian James, Marilyn Escondari's back here. Shelley makes a move on Sheila Shear. That is for the 10th spot. Brian James, the Orlando winner, so he's got some experience at the SS's. And at making right hand turns to do it. Yeah, he did one at California in the front of the whole field, didn't he? <laughs> Well, no, I'm meaning because Orlando's all right-hand turns. Oh, that's true. As yeah. Marilyn Escondari is going to make it three wide into turn three. John Just Irvin to the bottom. Down. They call a duty car to the bottom. Mm -hmm. duty. And he's going to be able to pass <laughs> Brian James. Here comes Enzo Nereza following the 20 through. I'm going to tell you the top three are not going to pass Tech because they're going to be able to pull away from 40 cars, all 39 cars all by himself. <laughs> John Irvin trying to make the move now on Eskandari. That is, would be for the, actually would be for 10th. Halfway home too. Uh, halfway home next time by. Nereza makes the pass for 11th. Can Irvin make a move with Zayn Abdullah off turn number two? No, in fact, it's gonna be Nereza who makes the move on John Irvin. Yeah, 29 throws the block, the Indy winner for the 29. And Nereza now, the Fastenal car into the top 10 at the Fastenal 300. Trying not to end up like the Best Buy car in the Best Buy 150. <laughs> truck, Eskandari truck, truck. passes Irvin as well. Kyle Matthews is closing the gap in that fourth spot. Nereza throwing, trying to throw a block on the 52. They're going to be three wide for ninth. 
I didn't know we were running the Coca-Cola Cup Series package here. <laughs> well, it was closing the gap for oh, a no, moment. Morgan has actually been yeah. passed. As yeah, actually what happened was these guys broke up a little bit as Quinton Moore tries to make a move on Lord again. That is for the for the sixth spot. And that helps kind of break this group up a little bit more. Meanwhile, these guys also start in a battle as Zayn Abdullah, Trevor Germain both pass the 40. Uh, what happens to go wrong with the eight? Uh, he's somebody ahead of him in points is going to blow up and he's still going to lose points to Uh, because you figure something's going to go wrong there. I think the... Uh, yes. The top three... Well, actually, Fitzwater just ran his fastest lap of the race, but second and third ran the exact same lap to the thousandth. Can we get the nitrous on the 81 off the car, please? <laughs> As Carter Joey makes the move from... Kyle Matthews for fourth. Moore, Quinton also follows through for fifth. And now, can that allow the 49 and the 12 to maybe start gaining some ground? As Quinton now makes the move on Carter Joey. Yeah, 89 car coming here. Yeah, and the top a, three. Another f quick lap from the 81, his fastest lap of the race. I wonder if just hasn't been touchable by these guys behind him. And and let's see, there's two. Is that Fords? Yeah, the Fords are pushing the Dodge. Yeah. Are they just biding their time, though? Who knows? Kyle Matthews makes the move for fourth. Carter Joey now back to sixth. As Seth Cole catches back up. So this becomes, again, a group of four. But their battling has cost them time. They're now up to almost two seconds back of the race lead. And the cup race is what, 60 laps? Uh, no. Actually, now these guys are almost three seconds back. Holy so crap. it is definitely going to be a battle amongst these three. Lap time fell off a little bit there for the 81, and in turn then the 4761. And they're staying. Oh, oh Matt Hamill's going to make I a move for it. second. That's going to break up this train. Maybe they'll start catching. Well, it's going to allow the 81 to gap them a little bit, which in turn should make them run slower. You would think. Does that end up being what happens? Probably not. As we monitor that gap, well, it doesn't. It's not going to help. But these guys are battling. As Seth Cole's wanting fourth spot away from Kyle Matthews. It's going to be Lordigan to fifth. Kyle is not even going to get in line for sixth. As Quinton Moore's going to make that pass. Well, might not complete it though. Yeah. Muhammad Zayn Abdullah is up here. He's still the top running chaser among those who. Don't have a win. Oh, 27. Yeah, that was kind of close. Oh, yeah. This uh, six. I forgot that number. As the 61. Uh, not able to close the gap enough. Andrew Miller now makes the move again for second. Ten laps to go here from April. It has been the Zachary Fitzwater show up front. Anybody got my shoe? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> We ain't doing we're not that. In, we're, we are not in Canada. <clears throat> Close enough, right? <laughs> well, uh, so Fitzmore won back-to-back -back races in season in season two. They failed a drug test, so hope that'll happen this time. Well, he already has won back-to-back -back races this year. That's true. Yes, yeah, to be the third time he's done it. That's pretty impressive. I won Coca-Cola, so as Angie Miller to the back bumper of the eighty-one, they have ditched Matt Hamill though. It's Goodbye, a two-car tandem up front. Here comes Andrew Goodbye. Miller. Andrew Miller yeah. says, screw Fitzwater, your stats. And Fitzwater is, nope, he's not strong. Well, it's going to be Andrew line. Miller to the race lead. I think this is the first lead change. Well, no, second lead change of the day, isn't it? I think Ooh, one almost... other person did it, got up there. Matt Hamill yeah. might have something to say for second, though. No, maybe he went blocked. Yep, they blocked it, but then late block. 
as the battle is still on for fourth that's gonna basically rule out any of those guys making a run at it now can Alyssa, Fitzwater get Alyssa his lead Yellow. back yep. sorry yeah, I talked over yeah. you Austin what'd you say unless there was, there there is, was a yellow well and yep so Fitzwater green. makes the move again here comes can it Matt Hamill goes to the top there to try and push the 47 that's smart. 81's too strong. Uh, nope. Oh, but then nope. falls back in line. That's why Matt Hamill's a goat. As Matt Hamill not clear the 47 off turn two. And oh, oh but he's going to throw the block. Try to not quite clear. My God, that was the, that was almost the animal abuse. That block right there, Jesus. What? As Andrew Miller back to second. Can they get a run on the 81? Yeah, they, they, they will. They'll have enough time. They got six laps. Seven laps to go so that time again. by. As Seth Cole now is up to fourth, they are closing incrementally. I say incrementally. That was actually almost an eight-tenth of a game. Well, look Here at the comes the 47. Andrew Miller has never won before, like I mentioned. He's the most hungry. And he's going to make Hamill's a move into won. turn three. He's going to uh, have help Andrew's from best, Hamill. Andrew's best finish is third at South Boston, trying to keep the streak of new time winners going. And Hamill fills the gap on the 81. Can he clear him off turn three or turn four? Yes, he can. Fitzwater back to third. And That's Fitzwater the farthest saying, back I think he's been today. Fitzwater's like, get these damn lap cars out of my way. They're not lap cars, Fitzwater. <laughs> now the gap oh, it, under it, two seconds really back to fourth. Down. Seth Cole is closing. But can he close quick enough? Yeah. Can he get there? I'm going to say yes. We got the boogie on down there to see if he's going to get them. Fitzwater taking a peek. He makes a move on Hamill. This is for second. They this is exactly what Seth Cole needs in fourth. But he also needs yeah. some help and not for these guys to be battling. Fitzwater now back to the back long. bumper of Andrew Miller's. They're coming to five laps to go this time by. He's going to get a pass right here. Fitzwater's car Oh my so gosh, good. Fitzwater's car just too strong today. Here comes Fitzy back for the race lead. Can I tear down that engine afterwards? So the 81 back in front. Miller's going to get back in Whoa. front of the 61. Kyle Matthews made go. the move on Seth Cole for fourth. That's going to cost these guys time. No, not really. They're still catching them. The 48, though, can see the 61. He can see the yellow. <laughs> Probably wrong wording. <laughs> As 81 away. has a gap over the 47 of about a car length. But does he got too big of a lead? Four laps to go here at Eight Bowl in the Fast and All 300. The Fast and All car is not going to win unless there's a wreck. It's under a second. Back to fourth. Here comes Kyle Matthews. You know Kyle wants that win to keep that streak going. Seth Colton back to fifth. Brian James falls to sixth. And here now can Andrew, Andrew Miller make a move, move on Fitzwater? Not Both that time wait. by. They're going to make it into 48, three. 48, way time. too high. Seth Cole makes a move for fourth. Side draft, too. So Seth Cole back to fourth. It's going to be Brian James fifth. But no one is close enough to the 12 to really push him up there. That was a terrible move by Seth. He should have just stayed with the 48. Well, 48 shouldn't have been near the wall. Three laps to go at eight bowl. They lost a bit of time there that time. So much so that Seth Cole only gained a tenth. Yeah, 47 is gapping the 61 now. But the 47, he's going to make it with two to go because the 81 so strong, he's just going to pass both of them again. Seth Cole's almost there. He 61 up near the wall. Whoa. I think that did it. I think that helped him. It's now going to just be a two-car fight for the win. 47, got to make it now. Seth with a huge run on the 61 car. 61's in trouble. 
Seth Cole makes the move for third. Here comes Tom Matthews as well. That was not wasted any time, but now they're a full second back. 12 and the 48 need to tandem back up there if they're going to have any shot at this. Yep, but it's like it's going to come down to the top two up there. So can Andrew Miller, all by his lonesome, make a move on Fitzwater? When does he make a move? Does he make a move? Well, remember that start he finish. Oh, wait. Wait. If, he does, if, he, if he's going to. He doesn't have any. There we go. And does the 47 try and lay back? Here. Two passing places, mainly turn one and then turn three. Got to make it here. Got to figure to do something. Here we go. 47 does doesn't make a move right, yet. Right. Got a full right, man. Nope, he's he just going to stay behind him. Like. Yes, we afforded this. Uh, 47, Carter, you got to make a move here, buddy. Make a move. Oh, wait, we can't say the language on this thing. Make a move. Fitzwater looking for his second straight win. Make a move, Andrew. And Miller just, just can't it, quite it get there. And Zachary Fitzwater, man, what a dominating car he earned it today. Coming off turn number four, just no one was going to deny Fitzwater a win here tonight. Uh, today is off turn number four. It's going to be Zachary <laughs> Fitzwater, who's now gone two for two in the round of eight. He wins the Fast and All 300. That is Mr. Fitzwater's eighth career win in the in the Hooters series. The next closest is five. And his fifth win of the season. As Miller just could not get there. Hamill does get back up to third. Seth Cole four. Or no, sorry, fifth. Uh John Irvin was fourth. Is Matthew sixth. Brian James. Mohamed Zanadula, 8th. Daniel Gitterup, ninth, And Oriel Pollard, top 10. Um, the other chasers today. Matt Dixon, I see, in 21st. Um, Hunter Braxton was 38th. Uh, we actually had some people lose the draft, apparently. JT Bryant, Matt Duncan were way back there. So was of Mary course. Shelley. And our poll setter, Stephen Paul III, still end up finishing 17 seconds back. Uh, 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 um, let's see. Eight or sorry, Jesse James in twenty sixth. Uh, Ace Rogers was twenty second. Jessica Shelton was twenty fourth. Um, Rob Evans thirty seventh. I think that covers the Chasers. Uh, gentlemen, your final thoughts on this one? So it was definitely an interesting uh, race for sure. Fitzwater was just too strong, and the pulling away, like I mentioned, was really good. Matt Hamill now ensures every single driver, including Matthew Marais, has got a top five so far this season. First top five in Matt Hamill's career. Go, Matt. Best career finish for Andrew Miller, too. John Irving with, I believe, not his best career finish, but a career day for him, too. Seth was trying to get that win at the end, just could not pull it off. Kyle with a six. He's got two more chances to keep that. So does Dylan Young. And the Chasers kind of struggled here. It was just like the top three were just so strong. The track position men's thing. No pit stops at 30 laps. We might see one in the Cup Series. We might not. But a lot of good racing. We had a kind of a clean race. These are not the truck drivers inexperienced. These are a little more experienced drivers. And they showed a good showing up here. They just couldn't catch the 81. Next weekend, we're going to Colorado National. That's a, that's a crap shoot. And then we're going to Homestead. And the way Fitzwater is going, I don't think anybody's got a chance. So, they're just racing for second. But we'll see what happens in the next couple weeks because anything can happen in these series. Gabe Williams won, so we know anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Pr pretty much so. Very clean race. I was very hopeful that we did. And um, I don't think this was... I don't consider this as a preview for the, the Cup Series, but we'll just see if I'm proven wrong as we'll probably definitely be seeing the pit stop in the cup race. I think this, uh, I think we concur it's uh, 30 laps. Uh, no, excuse me, this was 30 laps. 60 laps for tomorrow? I'm pretty sure it's not 60. I'm pretty sure we actually will be running just 10 laps longer. I'm pretty sure it's 40. Okay, well, I could that whole thing up, Charles. <laughs> so with that said, congrats to Zachary Fitzwater on yet another win this season. 
cementing his spot in the final four and saying you are if you're going to win this title you have to go through me i'd like to thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you have today for more gaming and racing related content uh leave a comment down below if you uh weren't watching the premiere chat with us or didn't comment in the premiere chat i should say um just helps me know that you guys are watching for steven paul third and austin plant though i'm going to fan town one and this has been a production of the nrsl We'll see you guys next time. See you guys yes. for the cup race. I'm going to bed. Austin? Yes. A final thought? <laughs> Just send the recording.